Well, the uh, basic recipe in New Orleans is this. Wipe out public education, wipe out the unions, and the schools will get better. What they've actually done in New Orleans is to create a bifurcated system in which 60%, uh, 60, she said 61% of the kids are in charters. The other 39% of the kids are the very lowest performing kids. Now maybe they'll be able to pick off enough to bring them up to 65%. Maybe they might even make 70. But they basically said to the low performing kids, you stay in that old system, we don't want you. And so they're able to raise their scores. I mean, this really just reinforces what I've been saying in the book and also in this interview, yeah. which is that if you can, it's the kids who are the poorest, the kids who are the neediest, who have the low scores, and you have to address the root causes of why they're not performing. But uh, what the charter schools do, and, and it's not just in New Orleans, but in uh, many cities, is that they skim. They skim in the poorest communities. They, don't, they have lower percentages of kids who are limited English proficient. They don't have the kids who have the most severe disabilities. Uh, they don't have very many homeless kids. You can just go on and on yeah. with the categories. And by by not taking their fair share of those kids, they have higher scores. One of the reviewers of your book in The Nation said that he perceived a parallel between education and healthcare. Massive inequality, growing inequality, growing corporate interest, um, and a real social harm. Your title is hopeful, sort of like Jane Jacobs, the death and life, you end with the life part. Uh, if it is a matter of socioeconomic injustice, what do we do? Well, it is a matter of socioeconomic inequality. And where, I mean, every place where there is very, very low performance just happens to be an inner city with concentrated poverty and also concentrated racial segregation. And so uh, when charter operators come in and they skim off the ablest kids and they say, look, we have a miracle on our hands, um, it's not a miracle for everybody, it's a miracle for the kids they skim. So what skimmed. do we do? 